Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today to our virtual event. My name is Anurag, and along with my friend here, Lalit, we decided to start our company named Cleep. So Cleep is your one-stop destination for all your tech and design-related needs. So you can come and join us and take the leap and go beyond. So we at Cleep expertises in IT solution, consulting, and managing IT services. However, our training and development function works towards building leaders, and hence provide specialized programs for colleges and schools to prepare the candidates for real world challenges. We also emphasize on leadership and hence have a special wing catering to the needs of corporate training and coaching. With this, I would love to introduce you to our guest speaker, Ravi Verma. And with over 16 plus experience in IT, ITES, he is here to share his knowledge and experiences with us. He's passionate about what he does and also owns a YouTube channel. So I would like to recommend you to go and subscribe to it. And today he's going to talk about procrastination and how to go beyond it. So the stage is all yours, Ravi, over to you. Thank you, Anurag. All right, so while we talk about procrastination, uh, I would want to thank Cleep for giving me this opportunity to come in live and uh, present my point of view about procrastination and the solution that I'm gonna present uh, hope it's going to help everyone uh, in some way or form. And uh, today's agenda for this meeting uh, has been laid out. So we're going to define procrastination. Uh, we're also going to look at uh, the brain, how it works, why it works the way it works when it comes to procrastination. We're also going to suggest some kind of solution and uh, formula to help each one of us go through and achieve what we want to. There are some reading recommendations from our side. And the uh, reason for that is we've also picked up some of the information that we're gonna pre present today from these uh, book or the blogs, right? So without taking more time, let's look at procrastination. And for us, uh, if you look up on Google, it's basically an action of delaying or postponing something. But because we are, we, I would like to bring Cleep because it's into UX, UI. I would like to call it as an art, just to give a reference that it's an art for us for delaying something or postponing, right? Uh, it's, 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 it's so simple that we kind of postpone simple tasks as well tasks as, as simple as sending an email to someone. And then at the end, we kind of realize, oops, we missed it, right? That kind of a moment, that oops moment is in everyone's life. So why does that happen? And what happens uh, when we have to achieve some target, some goals, right? Uh, let's say you've got to present something. Let's say just an example is this specific presentation, right? So we had something in our mind. We wanted to present uh, from Cleep and we wanted to do a presentation, a webinar, uh, and we had to prepare a slide. So we were thinking about it since last 20 days and suddenly we realized it's Saturday and we had to create something. I'm just giving an example. And it can be same for everyone, right? What happens when we have to do something, when, we, when our brain is talking to us and when it tells us we have to achieve some goal, this happens to us, right? We suddenly realize there's one web video that's out, we should watch it. Or, or there is some show. I mean, we all know Colleen Bhaiya from Prime or uh, so many shows on Netflix, right? We want to achieve something, but suddenly we want to go and watch a video and then nonstop binge watching happens. And suddenly we forget about what we had to do. And well, the current situation, COVID-19, we all are working from home and uh, nobody's watching us. So this happens a lot. And if these are not happening, then all of a sudden we, we have to kind of investigate what's there in the fridge, right? So all of a sudden we realize there's something new in the fridge and we have got to go and take a look at it because it is long ago, 10 minutes ago, that we just checked out what was there. So often, often we kind of postpone important things 
because of these. And it kind of keeps happening. We keep delaying things. And why do we do that? So in order to understand that, I would want us to go through the brain. We want to look at how our brain looks like. And thanks to our friend, Tim Urban. He's a blogger, a TED speaker, and uh, he did a great video on TED or, or a great, great spe speech on TED about procrastination. Uh, if you don't know him, he looks like that. Pretty handsome guy and a very good writer. He's got a blog called as Wait, But Why? Uh, we'll give you the link. Uh, go through that blog and look at it, the beautiful writing that he does. And a lot of things are towards procrastination. And this is something that he shared. Uh, so we take a closer look at his brain. I hope everybody knows how to look at the brain scan. And that's how it is, right? We all have someone named rational decision maker in our heads. The guy who has the steering wheel, the guy who takes care of all the important decisions, the guy who gets things done. However, we've got a cute friend of ours whose name is the instant gratification monkey. You want to do a task now. Your brain says, your the instant, the, the rational decision maker says, let's go and write that book. Let's start running from today. And the monkey says, hmm. We'll do it from tomorrow. Let's go and see what's there on YouTube or uh, what's there on Netflix. Or maybe let's just zoom in on Google Earth and watch some country and see how the roads are laid out. That's what the monkey does. So that's where the problem is. However, uh, we still get things done. Just an example was our own presentation that we did it in the last moment. And thanks to Panic monster. There's a third guy in our brain, Mr. Panic monster. The dude's job is to keep to himself all the time unless there's a deadline. The moment there's a deadline that we are about to hit or about to miss, the guy starts shouting. Shouts so much that the monkey runs away, the charge is back to the rational decision maker and we get things done. Now, what does that mean? And what do, do we figure out from that? Let's take a look, right? So that tells us that we are able to get things done when there's a deadline. Why? Because we got a panic monster who kind of helps us get things done. So in my point of view, there are just two kind of things that we work on. One, which has deadlines, and one which doesn't have any deadline, right? So anything that has a deadline gets done. Anything that doesn't have a deadline gets postponed. And when we really reflect, reflect on these items, we will realize that each one of us are procrastinators. And the moment there's a deadline, the panic monster comes in play and the monkey runs away and we get things done. That's the whole idea. That's what we want to come up with. So we've got some plan for you, for us to achieve what we want to achieve, right? For example, there are, there, there are so many goals that we have, but we don't have a deadline, right? We want, to, we want to write that book that we wanted to. We want to start our YouTube channel. We want to become a blogger. We, we want to lose that extra pound. All of these items don't have a deadline unless we put a deadline to it. So let's look at a solution part of it as to how we want to solve or go beyond procrastination. So we've got a structure that we, we want to share with everybody here. And uh, before we go ahead and uh, share the solution, we also want to understand why does anyone procrastinate? What's the reason behind it? So that's the first question that we have. And the answer to it is fear of failing. 
in my po point of view, that's the most important and the most wide reason of why anyone procrastinate. I give a moment, let's all think about it. Anything that you wanted to achieve, anything you wanted to do, uh, we always have that thing going back in our mind, which is what if we don't achieve it? What will happen if I don't get it done? I want to lose weight. What if it doesn't happen in the first few weeks? I go for a run, I go to the gym. What if it just doesn't happen? And then there is this unpleasant feeling, right? If you're hitting the gym, I'm, I'm kind of coming back to the gym because that's what I have tried. And uh, well, you hit the gym the next, the very next day, you know what is the unpleasant feeling, right? Every cell in your body will pain and shout, don't move. And if you're able to overcome that, you hit the gym again and you're able to achieve your goals. So that unpleasant feeling is also one of the reasons why we kind of procrastinate. And then there are folks we, who, who just want to perform when there is pressure, which basically kind of formulates to a deadline, right? So all this while we have been talking about monsters and monkeys and feelings, but there is an important aspect to procrastination and the solving it. And that is chemistry chemicals so let's get serious and as of now i'm going to put a question to each one of you and ask you uh, to take a take a second and answer it on the chat window i believe anurag can look at that here is a question for you can any one of you tell me what this is Anurag, are we getting any answers? Nope, only Shivani texted. All oh, right. Texted. Yep. Did we? Yeah, Arun said combination of hydrogen peroxide and Wonderful. some and someone QDEA three AA five said some dot hydro dot nitrate. Hydro Sorry nitrate. About that. <laughs> brilliant brilliant thank you guys for participating well this is a chemical named as dopamine well i believe you might have heard about it uh, one of the prominent speaker mr simon sinek talks about it a lot and uh, explains uh Behind, there are a lot of explanation behind the way we behave and why we behave and all the chemical chemistry behind it. So why are we talking about chemistry? Why are we talking about dopamine right now? When we were talking about monsters and monkeys, why all of a sudden we are into chemistry and why we are talking about such chemical, right? So what is dopamine or dopamine rightly said? Well, it is a feel good chemical in our body. It is one chemical that reacts with serotonin, oxytocin, or endorphins that are present in our body. And it, it is one of those chemicals that gets released in our brain when we feel good. I was so happy watching one of the latest Hindi movie where they were talking about love and what happens. I mean, before this, any Bollywood movie would say the bells will jingle and the roses will meet. But in this movie, they, they explained the feeling of love with chemistry and why it happens. It is because of these chemicals that we are just pointing out. So the whole trick is, and that's the next box, the trick that we want to talk about. Right? We, want to brain, we want to trick our brain, we want to trick the monster that we have, and we want to make sure 
that they get triggered and these important chemicals get released for us so that we feel charged, we feel good, and we kind of get things done. So here it is, the trick. The trick is to trick the panic monster sitting in your brain so that it starts shouting so that the monkey runs to the tree and the guy gets the work done. Steering wheel guy, he gets the work done. However, we also want to trick the brain to release these important juices that we have, right? So it's very important that we kind of treat us ourselves, make ourselves feel good. So putting all of this, the whole chart together, we've got a formula for all of us. And that's what we have in our next slide, which is the two minute rule. It's very simple, very simple to do compared to the problem that we have. We wanna kind of postpone everything. A Lot of things get postponed, tiny things that we have to do today, we postpone it. Early morning when we sit, we postpone a lot of things, right? So now we have to take that conscious decision. And this decision would come from something called as journaling, writing, diaries, all that beautiful things that our parents taught us, which was for a reason. Now we realize why they were important. So if you got a list or if you're working on something which takes two minutes or less, you wanna send that email to your manager, you wanna send that email to your team, you wanna acknowledge that, you wanna read that log, you wanna write that piece of code which you were supposed to write last night and, and, and which could be just two minute job, do it now, all right? right? So anything that you have to do which takes two minutes or less, put it as a thumb rule, make a, make a poster, put it on your desk, put it somewhere, right? and make sure that you follow it. So remember this, I'm repeating it again. Anything that you have to do, which takes two minutes or less, you do it right away. Just get it done, do it. Tell your brain, make sure you do that. And not everything can be done in two minutes, right? You gotta write that essay, you gotta create that report, you gotta submit that draft of an article, you've gotta write that blog, you got so many things, which cannot be done in one, one or two minutes. So you break those tasks into smaller tasks. And to start with, right, this is a formula to learn any new concept or learn any new habit. This is a very important formula, which is put into play when you want to learn a new habit, right? You start with smaller nuggets of that activity. So you want to run. How does it work out? You first start walking. Maybe you take one lap of your colony. Probably it will take two minutes. Don't do more, just one lap. You feel good. Next day you will take two laps. Then you will take, so you increase that, but First, you have to break your whole task into smaller nuggets of two minutes, right? And what happens once you finish, remember the third point, which is very important. Once you finish the two minute task, please reward yourself. Now, you would say, how do I reward myself? I mean, good job. Well, yes, that you can do. You can also write on a, on a notepad. I do it most of the time. Good job, Ravi. And those who know me have seen this button. It's a famous button. I hope you all are able to see this. It's the easy button. I hope you can hear. That was easy. So every time I want to reward myself and I do something important, I just go and that press that. Easy. I say that was easy and my brain feels good. So you got to find some trick, you got to find some ideas that makes you feel good and reward yourself, right? Maybe you just go take a small stroll and come back and you start working. That's how you kind of treat yourself. So what happens is you treat yourself by doing something that you like. So you get into that habit. 
every two minute item that you do, you treat yourself and then you feel good. What happens when you're feeling good? Dopamine is getting released. And then you feel good. When you feel good, you want to do it more. And you continue to do that. And then soon you will see that two minute task becomes a 10 minutes. And then suddenly you will see that you have got way more into your report, way more into your presentation, way more into your report that you wanted to deliver. Now, the two minute rule alone does not solve the problem, right? Remember, as of now, we are just tricking the brain to release the juices, but we are not yet put someone in charge, which in my mind is the most important aspect. And that is, adding deadlines. So whatever you have to achieve, whatever you want to do in your life, if they don't have a deadline by themselves, you add a deadline, right? There's a reason why we have smart goals, why people talk about smart goals, right? Because it has the T in it, time bound. You got to add deadlines to everything that you want to do. You want to lose weight, put a target. Today, I am X kg. 15 days, I want to be at this amount of weight. I want to write a blog, okay? Probably one week from now, I might have a domain name. Maybe I'll just start creating the web page. Maybe I'll learn WordPress, right? All of that are small, small actions that you would take. But all of those actions should have a deadline super important and the reason why after all you got to put the panic monster in charge you don't want the monkey to take the charge right so you want the panic monster to be in charge all the time so that if you are too lazy to get things done he will make you do that because he will shout so hard in your brain you'll go bonkers and you'll start working with that i take you to some of the references that we referred uh, such as this book barking up the wrong tree it's a great book great insights about procrastination uh, some items are from that book so i would recommend if you want to read something on procrastination and how to get rid of it uh, click on the link the amazon link obviously it's a referral link so if you buy it through this link i get benefited so i'll share that and then the blog wait but why from tim urban a great content great delivery of content on that blog and uh, also, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if you've got questions, please keep posting it on the chat so that we can kind of sum all of that together and reply back uh, with the answers. And this is me, my YouTube channel, Ravi's Focus Hive. So I request you guys to please go ahead, search for it on YouTube and subscribe on it. And we'll be very thankful to you. And with this, I turn it over to Anurag. Thank you so much, Ravi. I hope we were all able to learn something from this useful webinar. And thank you everyone for joining us and for all your support. Uh, like you all know, this is our first event, online event. And I hope because of all your support, we are able to continue this and doing this even more. And thank you so much, Ravi, again. And thank you so much for our, uh, all you guys for joining us. If you have any kind of question, please do feel free to text us or reach out to us on LinkedIn and you can follow Ravi as well. Thank you. If you have any questions, we are open to questions right now. And okay. if, if you so, want to unmute everyone, uh, we can do that as well because we are done and they can ask questions also. Yep, I unmuted everyone. If you guys have any kind of question, you can feel free to ask. You're welcome, Arun. Thank you for joining us. Thank you again to DEA385. <laughs> All right, I think that's it, Ravi. And I think with this, we should close. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. And thank you, Arun, and uh, to DA. Appreciate your comments. Thank you very much.